smacking it. Oh shit's in a bag. Yeah, that's like someone just fucking smashed it in. Fucking JD, man. It's them again. I think it's like yoga was great. You went to yoga? I thought you would have saw the tweet. I didn't she, see the tweet. She made fun of me. She said Ern was just as scared of petting the stingrays at the aquarium as he was to go to yoga class. Was it was actually great because, listen, it wasn't even, it was a restorative yoga. It was straight up like meditation, dude. There was minimal stretching, breathing with your eyes closed. I was high as shit, and every time like I wasn't doing it right, the girl would like come grab my arm, throw it under. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Um, all right. Look at this box. Triple black EQT. Guess what it is though? It's a fucking 12 and a half. Because my dumb ass was just high and ordered it. It was like, oh yeah, UK 12. And I like grabbed it and I was like, that's a 12 and a half, you idiot. Because I do it with NMDs. Uh. It'll probably still fit if I take the insole out. That's why I asked you the other day if you wanted the fucking Purple black EQT. I was like, well, I got one on the way if you want them. We'll see how they fit though. Mm -hmm. So what is Gore-Tex? Is it waterproof? What is Gore-Tex, he asked. Gore-Tex is... I remember back in the 90s. It keeps you dry and keeps you warm. All right. I remember it was hype back in like the 90s. In the 90s. Yeah, every Gore-Tex. Especially might, in New York. Yeah, rappers with their yeah. Gore-Tex fucking shit. But now I haven't heard it in Bitch, years. Bitch, I'm in the Vortex, rocking on his Gore-Tex. Yeah. yeah, what? Call me up. Call me up on the Gore-Tex. Good Gore -Tex. putting shoes on your feet. Really? Dude, look, tag is like independent too, which isn't normal. Like it's not, you know how they're normally like yeah. stuck down? This one just flaps in the motherfucking wind for some reason. This shit is so funny. It might go on easier now that I've put it on. No. You literally have to grab this extra long heel tab right here and pull it over your oh. right, shoulder. And now it's comfy. Well, it's comfy, but it's stiff. Cause all that Gore-Tex on the inside. So like, it's not like all right, don't not like a regular N and D or anything. It's just like stiff and it's super tight. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell it's like pulling a little. Yeah, but not not to the point where it's uncomfortable. But no. it's definitely not. It does not have what the other like like what a city sock has. It doesn't have like look at this like. Chain mail on the fucking inside. It's like, oh, there, there you keep that right there. That's all Gore Tex. Okay. But yeah. But it'll be dope in the Breckenridge and shit. I could pop these on and then go run yeah. in the snow. Well, see, that's why I considered getting them, but then. But they're not like comfortable like you know, these, are they? Are they, are they comfortable like you know, these on my way? Are they comfortable like you know, these? Are they? Are you biting me right now? Are you biting me? non-disclosure shit. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> you just bleep out when they are. I just can't, you cannot say, because Kobe fans will go nuts if they know when they're. I know you want it, but you would put it by mistake because you were opening the shoes and maybe I'll mention it and it's just in the background. But one of these fans sees it, Puts it in the fan group and is like, Coheed will be on tour from bat to bat. And then Blaze is like, bro, I fucking got off the phone. Oh, Blaze, eh? So you're saying I can fuck Blaze's day up, is that what you're saying? No, you're saying that I have the power to fuck up Blaze's day. No. And not lose you for two and a half months. No. In one comment, one fail swoop, that I don't have to do anything that I don't already normally do. I just have to edit some footage together. Sounds wonderful. We'll pack this up. I'm the weed here. I think that'd be important. All well, that tool upside down is a packer, dude. That's that, that's that, that's that. Cook this up. Um, I know you just got worked. I know you suck at PUBG and you just got worked in Call of Duty. That much I do know. Omar needs going to walk. It's kind of weird because Thanksgiving is in the middle of it. I know. <sighs> Big box. 
Hold on, I gotta email my mom real quick because she's. I bought my mom her ticket last night here. Yeah. She's like, she's like, how do I, uh, how do I get my ticket? Like, will they mail me a ticket or will I'm like, what? She, I'm like, just print it. She's like, I don't have a printer. Brandy said if you do like a real class, like not that like relaxing one, that it's like hellish. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah. She's like, you did like four stretches and you just kind of like. Literally, dude, she'll like wrap a blanket around your legs while they're up on the wall and you're just like... Sounds like you took a nap at daycare, like an adult daycare where they just like... Yeah, it basically the was. experience of being a child again. It kind of was. One, two, three. This side, I just like to do that. Another pair of black and whites. Nice. I mean, I'm missing the tans. I'm still waiting on a bunch because I got doubles of everything. This is multi so I'm waiting on the green and the tan. Man. I like that they're stitched. Yeah, and there's only a couple of pairs that are stitched. Man. Hey! What, bro? Someone left a comment and said, wish I was sponsored, and I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes two of us, bro. I paid for every single fucking pair. Oh. <laughs> Yours are on the way. And, uh, must be nice to be sponsored. Must be. So... Unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. Thing this week is a little crazy because Thanksgiving is coming up and there's just like, there's all kinds of stuff happening. Getting ready for Thanksgiving and holidays in general. Got mom her ticket out for Christmas. Gotta get a cabin up in Breck or Keystone. Be at a frosty winter wonderland. Um, lots of shoes came in and are coming in and continue to come in. Uh, it's been quite the spree. There's a lot of stuff coming out. There's drops on Black Friday. There's all kinds of stuff. Well, at least the kith drop on Black Friday. Another pair of Yeezys coming. Uh, everyone asking if I got Yebras, absolutely. I ended up with multiple pairs, thankfully. Shout out to the plug. Uh, shout out to RSVP Heat, actually, for cooking extra pairs for me because that is very nice, because I like to double up. What else, what else, what else? Off-White 10 release was today. Couldn't tell you anything about it because I didn't deal with it, except that I already know. Uh, the sneakers app is trash, so congratulations if you copped Off-White today, and if you did not, I'm sorry. What else we got going on, Omar? What else is popping off? Um, oh, yesterday on social media, I shared a story, a GoFundMe story. It's actually still on my Instagram. Um, I will also put the GoFundMe link in this video here because I think it's important. Um, I don't normally get involved in a lot of fundraising and stuff like that. I sort of donate silently to the things that I donate to. But in this instance, uh, short end of the story, a father of 11 was stabbed to death over a pair of shoes that his eight-year-old son was wearing. I believe that's the correct story. Regardless, a man's life was taken over a pair of shoes. The family is trying to raise money, you know, obviously, for obvious reasons. So yeah, like I shared the GoFundMe. They were trying to reach 10 grand yesterday. They crushed the 10 grand, so shout out to you guys who donated yesterday. I even threw a little incentive in there that if you donated and showed me proof, I'd enter you into a contest. I will be contacting the winner shortly. And yeah, so, but yeah, these are these are just shoes, you know, like, it's crazy. You hear these stories all the time of people being killed or hurt over just a pair of shoes, robbed, whatever, and it's just ridiculous. Uh, and this, in this case, it's tragic. So the link is there if you'd like to donate to this family. If you don't want to donate, that's fine too, but I, I just feel like uh, I just feel like sharing it. So, but yeah, sad, sad, sad news. Right on the cusp of the holiday too, so it's just... And then, you know, the people who, the people who uh, did this also, you know, their lives are also ruined. So it just, it ruins a lot of lives and it's, it's really not worth it. Shoes, shoes, shoes. We got a lot of shoes to look at this week. Today we're going to take a look at the Black Fridays, but we have the Gore-Tex to look at. Still need to look at this last pair of the Tangos. We have more Pharrells to look at, more Pharrells on the way. Full set, double up on the full set, I do believe. Maybe even three pairs of some of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Like bed, the bed has been awesome. Also, I've literally, I'm going to give you guys the full on review of the Lisa mattress as well as a discount code. You can get $100 off, but 
I literally have overslept every single day since I've gotten the bed. Every day I'm supposed to wake up at a certain time and it does not happen. That is pretty much it. There's a lot going on. Holidays are upon us. Hopefully everybody is headed to where they're supposed to be headed to soon. Speaking of other things that are uh, going on, except for no light because I'm shooting into the light. AI drop. The officially, officially, like everything's caught up, everything's shipped. Um, if you didn't get a cancel email, then your stuff is on the way. So I promise you, it's on, it is in USPS's hands and on the way unless you've received an email saying something else has happened. And then, so we're getting ready for the next drop. I'm not doing a Black Friday drop. I don't really like Black Friday, although I kind of want to like take Earn out for Black Friday just for the ridiculousness. Um, but um, where am I going with this? And I don't really like Cyber Monday. So we're going to drop on Sunday. We will be dropping the Windbreakers along with some other things. Windbreakers will drop. They have patches. They're removable. There's also a secondary patch set that should be coming. Don't know if that's coming out this I don't know if that's this pack or not, but there is a, there is another patch set, so you'll be able to get new patches for them if you want. Yeah, so those will be dropping Sunday. I don't have the exact time, but probably in the morning. And what else? What else? Oh, price on the windbreakers, 160. That's it. They're 160. Some people will think that's too expensive. There's not a lot of them. We did our best. Uh, and they fit true to size, I would say. They're a little bit longer and narrow. They're not really wide. So it, it's kind of like a little bit, little bit longer of a fit, narrow. I wear 2X in it, and it's like pretty perfect. So AI drops are returning. Thank you guys all for your support. It is much appreciated. And... So, we'll talk uh, shoes today. There's a lot of shoes coming in. The ebb and flow of the sneaker world. November has been insane. I am so ready for this shit to be over with. I have, yeah, it's been crazy. It's been a lot of money, a lot of shoes. So hopefully December's, well, I know it's a little slower, but there's still plenty of shit coming. Today, we're gonna take a look at a shoe that comes out on Black Friday. These dropped early overseas. I don't remember where these came from, like size, which is an extension of JD Sports, which is why the fucking box looks like this right here uh yeah so but they're not fake they're just fucked the shoe itself is actually a pleasant surprise to me because i with so much stuff coming out this was one that a year ago i probably would have like lost my mind over but when this one was coming out i wasn't really that excited it I mean, I wanted it, I was gonna get them, but I didn't even think, I wasn't like like tripping over it, basically. Once I got them in hand, they were a lot nicer than I thought they were gonna be, for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, that is the Triple Black EQT 9317. It is really, really clean. I actually love the way the black looks, the way this pops off with the gray and black contrast with the black boost. It looks really, really nice. Like, it's super clean. There's little 3M hits all over it, so you have 3M inside the stripes stitched in, the 3M on the Dubray, there's also 3M on the tongue tab. The tongue tab uh, always says ADV 9117, and that's because 91 was the year that EQT started, and 17 being 2017. Uh, I have to take the insole out of this. This is actually a US 12 and a half. I've learned with EQTs, I can get away with if I remove the insole. And this is actually fine. With the insole, I feel a little, I take the insole out, it's totally fine. It's probably like perfect. Like I couldn't go, I couldn't size down any further. 13 would be preferred, but I jumped the gun. There was no 13, I just, I just copped. Fit on these, I still say true to size. Like I just, like I just said about the half insult. Uh, but true to size is preferred. Yeah, if you don't have any EQTs, the way they fit, it's not like an ultra boost really. I've uh, described it as a yacht of boost. A lot, a lot of yacht. Yeah, it's basically like standing on this huge yacht of boost. The upper is a little more shallow. It doesn't quite grab your foot like a ultra boost. And then you have a burrito tongue. So there's really like no grab. It just, you kind of just sit on top. I don't know if that really helps explain it. It's like a, the upper is like a slipper and the bottom is like a boost yacht. So it's a slipper boost yacht combo that is very comfortable to wear around or stand on all day. It's not necessarily like a running shoe in my opinion. So I also don't really run. So you have what they call, I call it prime knit. Some people call it pixel knit. I still say it's just basically prime knit. It may be a little thicker. The original photos that released, this was white. And I honestly thought this was 3M. That would be a really nice touch if those toe box stitches were 3M. That's probably my only like nitpick. Like suede EQT support panel on the inside. The cages on these um, are all just TPU plastic and then neoprene heel. Inside and around the ankle collar has got like a nice little gray. So there's a nice little contrast in the shoe which is nice. I know it's called a triple black but it's not really triple black. But I do think this is super clean like it just looks clean you know and I can go like this 
But yeah, super, super clean, coming out on Black Friday. I don't know what else drops on Black Friday other than the Kith collab. Obviously, I'm going after that mid. Uh, I should be good to go on that. Can't remember anything else on Black Friday. I don't really get involved in Black Friday shit too often. There's that, and then there was another black EQT with like a red on the bottom. I don't know if that really is happening or not. I might even be imagining some of these things. Um, triple black EQT 9317, and it is nice. So glad to add this to the EQT line. You know, some of the EQTs they've dropped, haven't been a fan of. Some of the 9317, it's not even the colorways, it's the different materials. So I'm glad for this to return sort of like the OG ones we got. Nice knitting, some nice suede paneling, and then, you know, I mean, I guess it could be a little nicer if some of this stuff was leather, but it's not, so who cares? You know, we could always talk about how things could be nicer, but basically till the end of time. It's not the end of time. It's not the end of time at all. No. All right, EQT 9317, there you have it. I'm out of here, see you tomorrow. Peace.